Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Now guys, this is our second attempt at this because we've had some technical problems. Some of the footage would not record this graveyard for some very strange reasons. Now, I don't know why that is. Maybe I don't know, spiritual or just the cold weather. It's very, very cold today, guys. And I mean really cold. What is it? Zero. It's zero, zero outside and it's starting to snow. Now, we're going to take you around this uh, uh, Les Mahago Old Parish Church. So let's go through the threshold here, guys. Eh? Now, I'm thinking... We go this way. There we go. It's quite an interesting churchyard, this guys, because it's 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 got an old chapel in it. I think from the is it the is it the twelfth, thirteenth century in it or something like. That. Uh -huh. So let's have a wee look, guys. A lot of the stones are really difficult to read for some really strange reason. I think it's just wear and tear and see what I mean. The other side's got no writing on it. I think it has got, it's got a little bit of writing on it, but... There you go. Yeah, I'm really annoyed, Tick, because that, that footage, that was, what, 20 minutes long? It was we wandered around about here 20 minutes long, but hey, we just need to start again. I suppose it's every cameraman's nightmare of the footage not working, you know? It's a really interesting graveyard, this. Now guys, I know I keep saying it, could you please hit that subscribe button, hit that share and like. There's some amazing locations we will be going to uh, in the summer. We're going to be thinking about Slane's Castle um, up near Aberdeen. Now that's where the books were wrote. What was it? Uh, the Vampire Stories, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Right. Is it Mary Shelley? Was that Mary, Sh Mary Shelley? Was it? it was Mary Shelley. All right. So let's get that one. That's got a hole in the middle of it. Latin there, ladies and gentlemen. Alan knows his Latin, he told us. Is that right, Alan? <laughs> There's quite a little Latin about. You know? It's amazing how you can see it so much better on the camera. There's the church there, guys. Now, there's a mausoleum up here, isn't there, Alan? There's not much really down there. Um, look at that stone. Imagine that landed on top of you, Alan. Oh, my goodness. The sandstone. You can't even read that, it's that bad. It's that warm. Now hopefully this is recording correctly and the sound's recording on it. You can hear the, the motorway, can't you? Now the mausoleum's in here, but... Actually, we had a question for some of the people that followers, uh, follow us. Um, there's some gravestones in particular, because obviously we've walked down, around here already, um, that have weird holes in the top. Like this one over here. What's it for? Alan thinks it's for putting like a light into, you know, like an old lantern, oh, so they could visit the grave. Definitely. Yes. But tell us what you think, guys. What was that for? Or was there something at one time on top? I would say it's for a bell and for a light as well. A bell? Oh, aye. Because that's how you buried alive, kind of oh, thing, isn't it? Yep. We will go down there shortly, guys, but I want to show you in there. Remember, pause, guys. It's quite an interesting place, this. There is writing, but you can hardly make it out. There's an anchor with a crest. Graffiti, guys. That, that's what I can't, I can't... Why would you do that? 
Why would you do that to like a beautiful building like this? I don't know, Chris. I don't know. You can see a lot of people dump stuff in there. But it's, uh, let's have a wee walk up here. There's nothing at the side there. See the big steel beam running across the top, Alan? Because that, that, that's like a bombshell. This place is heavy, heavy, heavy reinforced. I don't know if that was added earlier, you know? It could be, could be. But anyway, let's take you to the old chapel at the back, which is uh, around here. As you can see, the stones are quite worn in this graveyard. It must be because we're kind of in the valley and everything must just wear with the wind running up it. And the rain and the snow. And obviously because we've done this before, we've already been round here, so this is our second attempt. Hopefully the footage this time will not be corrupted. Now there's nothing in here guys, we've actually been in here and there's nothing in there. There's no writing, nothing in any of the plaques that you can make out. So I don't know what this pit was. See there you go, there's another hole there. So, see I think there was a wee bell in there and there was a ring ring, I'm still alive in here, let me out. Absolutely. Can you imagine? Yes, if they do the same in coffins as well. Huh? Yes. Can, you, can you imagine how many people that's happened to? I wonder how many people it's happened to in this graveyard. That's a thought to think. Buried alive, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, look at this, the chapel. Beautiful architecture there. Must have took a while to carve that. At one time it must have had quite a heavy duty door lock on it. Yeah. I'll just bring it up there. Ooh, it's, it's rather chilly, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'll pause this after on TV and watch it. Now, we're at, we're at 650 something subscribers, guys. Let's get me to 700 subscribers for Christmas. Now the berries, that's beautiful colour, isn't it? But highly poisonous. Yes. See how easier it is to read it? Mm -hmm. With a camera. Oh, but you can't even make it out and with your normal eyes. That's, that's a prolific. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's, that's so strange, that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh dear, dear, Jesus, it's chilly. I've actually got quite a lot of old buildings round about here, like old stables, as you can see, yeah. unless we here go itself. Mm -hmm. There's more graffiti there, ladies and gentlemen. My feet are soaking wet, Alan. Oh, there's a gravestone there, I've never seen that. There's another plaque up there. Can you read that up there, Alan? Wait till I've done this one first. It's uh, Mary, Mary Wood McCurdy, eldest daughter of John McCurdy, Esquire of Buckwood, who died 19th of July, 1853. Uh, it was this one here. It was, uh, what would you call it? 1858, so that's right on my birthday. Really? Why? Can't read that. And I'm not tall enough to get the vines off it. Alan, climb up and fix it. You have to uh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go in your back, Chris. That's <laughs> it. It's obviously a drinking den we've got in here, guys. There's a... Uh... You know something? We missed this bit the last time we were here. Oh, uh, it's Clementina, wife of John Gregory McQuire, Squire of Buckwood and daughter of Sir Norman MacDonald Walker Park of C in this county. Oh, standing in the... Local rubbish. You can tell the teenagers of Lis Mahago love their local graveyard. You know? Indeed. Mm. 
That's a big gravestone, that, isn't it? Oh. That's it, that's what it's written. Oh! I nearly fell over there, guys. I nearly fell over there, guys. Oh, God. Oh, the second time round, you know? Second time round. See the, the stained glass windows there? Absolutely stunning church. I would like a look inside it. I'll go up to the corner bit in a minute. I just want to try and get some get some bits that I missed the last time. It makes you wonder if because I missed the bits, that's why my footage wouldn't work. You know? Look how worn that is. Look at that. I know they use a lot of like sandstone. Most of the, the graves here are like sandstone, I've noticed that. It's quite strange that. There's the church. Oh dear dear, it's chilly. Now guys, we're going to be going to some amazing locations um, in the springtime. So remember, hit that subscribe. Also, we're doing a live this Wednesday talking about the clans of Scotland. And if you had a clan in Scotland, if you ever had a family member that had a clan, leave below in the comment section on YouTube uh, what clan you had and we'll bring it up on the show. We've got the kind of monument down here, haven't we? Can I... We will come back in the summertime to this graveyard, guys. Um, but today it's just freezing. <laughs> What's this stone here? Doesn't it really have a date on it? Does it have a date now? 17. 28. Oh, Mind you, I've seen them older than that. I've seen, the oldest one I've seen is 11 something. I've seen it, it said 11 something on it. Of course, that's more grey friars material, you know. Yeah. Here's quite an interesting one. It's got a pair of scissors on it. Here's, what's that? That's, that looks like a wee man getting hanged. That's so strange, that. Uh -huh. It looks like that seaweed. See that? Uh -huh. And then there's a pair of scissors. Uh -huh. what about you think so? Uh -huh. and and there's a skull and crossbones in Latin again. I wish I wish you guys could feel the, the, the temperature right now. Yeah. I've not got gloves on. Alan has, they look lovely and warm, I they? feel roasty toasty. Do they, are they really roasty toasty, are they? Oh, they're roasty toasty. There's actually a gravestone down here, I want to really show you, because it's rather interesting, actually. There's that one there. See, you usually miss things. You really need to, you really need to walk around this graveyard maybe like five or six times to, like, see everything. Where's that gravestone with the... Uh, the love heart on it. You know the one I'm talking about? Hi there, it's over there. I'll get to it in a minute. There's, here, this must be the kind of oldest part. I'll get to this bit then. Eh? This must be the oldest part because it's got a lot of... Eh, what do you call it? Skull and crossbones on the, on the stones of cells. Look how prolific that one is. There is, I'll get that monument the new. Uh, sorry about my stuffing, guys. It's it's rather chilly. There, it's there. 
Now, what do you think of that one, guys? That's that's beautiful, isn't it? With a with a heart. And what is that? Is that is that like a piece of corn or something? Or is it a a leaf? A leafy some leaf. kind. Yeah, so a bay leaf. Now, what does that mean, guys? I've never seen something like that before. An honour. An honour. Maybe they were a farmer or something like that. You don't know. Very Look very at that. Good. The sky is beautiful sky tonight. Anyway, here we go. I'm not going back up there. I nearly fell off of there the last time I was up. I'll get the sword there. I'll zoom in. Remember, just pause. I'm actually quite intrigued with this uh, monument here. I'll read this after myself. 1826, age 21. Some of you can't make out guys, sorry about that, it's just the way the light is today. But I'm sure if you type in Les Mahago Parish Church, there will be um, some information on this. I think that clock stopped at 12 o'clock, am I right there Alan? Sure has. Yeah. There we go. Right. Interesting one there. Was that here the last time we were doing? Look at the uh, leaves. Uh, no, leaves, what do you call them? Feathers? Mm -hmm. I think something's maybe students or something's had its dinner. Like a sparrow hawk. You think so? Oh, I definitely a sparrow hawk, yeah. yeah. It's that uh, 1820. Quite a lot of young deaths in the days, no antibiotics, no healthcare system like we've got nowadays. There's quite a lot of subsidence uh, round about here, I've noticed. I like to try and keep my videos around about 20 to 25 minutes long. Um, just because you don't really be want to watch this for more than maybe 30 minutes, you know. I found this one quite interesting. It's got an elephant on it. Did you notice that the last time, Alan? I did, uh, it's under the That's quite, look at that. It's got the ivory and it's got the... Hope. It says there. The dove. It's got the bagpipes. What else can we see on that? Look at that. It's, got the, it's, it's actually got the musket and the sword. Oh, that's uh, interesting. I can't read that, but on the screen it's it's quite clear. It's not as clear, but... And then you've got the ivory at the bottom uh -huh. for the elephant. Yeah. And then you've got the elephant itself. That's right. That's very interesting, that, guys. Do you think so, huh? Oh, yeah. I would like a look in that church because it looks you've got the wee bit of glass at the back and all that. I bet that's beautiful inside it. Yeah. Right, so in that metal thing over there, there's nothing in there because I've already been. Uh, so, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video today of Les Mahago Old Parish Church and Graveyard. We will be going to new locations in the 
spring, hopefully to some really haunted locations. I want to go to Greyfriars Graveyard because I find that one of the most interesting graveyards in the world. But saying that, there is more uh, interesting graveyards, you know, that, like Stirling Graveyard, you see yep. the Stirling Castle. Uh -huh. It's got a graveyard there and wow, that place is underestimated. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a very happy New Year. And I will leave you with a stunning picture. Alan, would you like to send it to your subscribers and your viewers and your fans out there? Merry Christmas and a happy new year. That's kinda of like a that's kinda of like a what do you call it? A Scrooge kind of thing, isn't it? You're like, you're like what's his name? Who's the guy with the wee with, with the crutches? Is it um, Who's his the wee boy? Oh god, somebody will say it in the chat. Sure. You, you can't hear him talking about No, no, I'm not saying that, no, I'm not saying that, you know. You're saying that, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to go to another filming location now. It's got to be a driving video, hopefully. Um, Alan could sit in the car with the heater on. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. I'll give him some of the travel sweets that I've had in my car for about 10 years. So oh, he likes a treat now and again, you know. You've got to treat him. You've got to treat them. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you all later and see you all soon.